everyone, it's Deli here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm building a house for my current LP, um, my Let's Play The Cobbs Family, which we're up to about episode 11 or something like that. So it's still kind of a new Let's Play, I could say. Uh, but for those of you guys who haven't watched it yet, I will explain a little bit about it without any spoilers, uh, just so you can understand why we're building this kind of a home and what kind of a home this is going to be. Basically, uh, the dad is moving in here and this is his house and he is a very rustic kind of guy. He has high level handiness skill. So there's going to be a lot of like raw materials around the house and I thought it would be really nice to kind of make it look like it was an old farmhouse that's been renovated over time or something that's a little bit old that's been made into something a little bit new. So I wanted to have a feeling of some retro furniture that might be new furniture, it could be old furniture, old leather chairs, repurposed floorboards or floorboards that have just been like uh, revealed under ripping up some old carpet or tiling or something, that kind of a feel. And then I also wanted to have like dining tables that look like they could have been built by him. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of like browns, warm colors, stone, a little bit foresty maybe, uh, and farmy. So I'm gonna say it's like a rustic farmhouse. And the other important factor to keep in mind is that this house had to be built on a budget. So it's around 70,000 simoleons, which isn't a lot of money when you have five Sims in a house uh, and you wanna make sure they all have bedrooms and bathrooms. So <laughs> I've put two teenage girls in one room together who are best friends. And uh, then we've got a toddler. So there's going to be a toddler room and then she's going to obviously grow up and that will be her room as a child. And then there's two adults room. Uh, one's the master bedroom and the other room is uh, separate to that. So yeah, there's going to be two double bedrooms. So one, two toddler bedroom and then the twin, oh, not the twins bedroom, but the friends bedroom. So four bedrooms all together. And I think there's also four bathrooms as well. Cause we have a master bathroom, double bathrooms and uh, the girls show bathroom too. So that's basically it. So I would have loved to make this house bigger and more detailed, but working on a budget, we just we just couldn't afford it. So it is kind of a basic farmhouse, I guess. There's not much landscaping. There's a little bit, there's enough. There's like no fencing. There's no, uh, nothing like super cluttered in the house that I think we could have definitely gone full crazy on clutter if I had more budget to work with. Uh, so we've just gone with kind of open plan, simple shape, symmetrical. Uh, it's it's not a difficult build, this one. Uh, but I, I think it turned out nice. And I also like the fact that it is different to my other builds. So right now we're creating the canopy area because they're going to make their money off growing roses and their roses are going to be underneath this canopy. So if you are familiar with the Sims, if you grow plants underneath quote unquote shelter, they can grow in any season. Otherwise they will only grow in certain seasons. So uh, yeah, I think roses are usually, oh, are they spring or winter? I feel like they're one of them. I know Christmas roses is winter. So maybe roses are a spring item, maybe spring and autumn or something. Anyway, uh, they're going to be underneath that cover. And then I'm also going to move over some orchard trees, apple orchard trees to put out the back just because I think they look really nice. They do make a little bit of money and yeah, you just can't really go wrong. So to start with, I was thinking we could go with this brown exterior. So I was using brown university brick or masonry wallpaper and I liked it, but it just was a little, I don't know, it it didn't look rich. Oh, it looked too rich. It was like too, I don't know, bright or something. I just wanted it, I wanted the exterior to be a little cooler. I also had looked up a few inspiration images that you guys had sent me on Twitter and a lot of them had like grays and brick uh, and not like bright red bricks. They were more like cooler colored bricks. So in the end I thought, you know what? I really like this wallpaper, this kind of aged weathered gray wood, almost like the wood was once a brown color, but through it being weathered, it's gone gray. 
And uh, we're actually also going to change the stone in a little while because I was kind of on this idea or this journey of using the brown, which has the gray stones in it with the gray wood. But in the end, we're actually going to go for a more wood cabin kind of stone. You'll see log cabin kind of stone. Does that make any sense if I'm saying like log cabin when it's not wood, I'm talking about stone, I don't know. Uh, and then just at the front here, I thought it would be nice just to create a very simple canopy. Uh, I've done this a lot of times. Uh, it's always just a nice way to add a bit of greenery on top. And I would have liked to put more greenery around the sides of the house, but again, a budget, you know? I, I keep those decor items out until the very end. And if I have budget to put them in, I will, but we didn't in this case. And then the front door was a little bit tricky and the windows. I had this idea that because we're in Windenburg, I would use the steel windows from Get Together. These ones right here with the door. And I just wasn't completely sold on the door. It was nice to use windows that I don't, and doors that I don't use very often. And I kind of liked the idea that these windows looked a little bit industrial. They looked like they had been welded maybe. Uh, but in the end, we're actually going to change them because they're not quite right. Not, not quite right for me. And right now I'm just trying a whole heap of other ones. Do we go modern? I also, in this build, decided to use uh, a new custom content pack I found online by Elogical Simmer, and it's called Tiny Living Plus. Uh, it's a really, a really good pack. I'll try and remember to link it in the description down below. But uh, basically, Tiny Living Stuff Pack is a stuff pack for The Sims 4 made by EA. And then Illogical Simmer kind of extended that pack. So from all the pieces in the pack, he's uh, either separated them into more individual items or he's given more color swatches or simplified things, or mostly it's a pack where a lot of the items have been broken up. Like the couch from the Murphy bed you can use on its own. And it's just, it's a really smart way of doing custom content. And I really wish EA actually broke its items down a lot more because a lot of us looked at the Murphy bed and thought, I really wish I had that couch as a normal couch because it's more versatile probably for most players than a Murphy bed. Obviously the Murphy bed is awesome though because it crushes your Sims to death, which is great fun. So yeah, I, I really appreciated this custom content. So if you want to check it out, I definitely, suggest you do and you can see i've already used a couple of the couches inside uh and there are a few windows in this pack i'm actually not sure where the windows came from or if they just decided to add the windows in themselves in any case uh the windows were were nice as well to use uh so we'll use a couple of them i think we used two windows in the bathrooms and in the end, I decided to use these windows from Get Famous uh, and the other windows. I don't actually know what those curved windows are from, but they're, they're not custom content either. So, uh, and then the sliding doors, I believe are base game. And then these like steel, steel frames, they are from Get To Work, I think. I'm starting to kind of forget which items come from which packs. I mean, who am I kidding? I never really was that good at remembering which, which items come from which packs, but I, I do try. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I love this kind of cool exterior, you know, the grays, the blacks. It is a bit industrial, but it is balmy at the same time, the corrugated roof and those circular windows inside the peaked area of the roofs I think gives off a little bit of a farm vibe and I did decide to only put stone on one side of this symmetrical build in the facade or as my teacher used to say the facade <laughs> so yeah I I don't know some people they don't like any asymmetrical design you know having unmatching things a lot of people like everything to be symmetrical i like a little bit of asymmetrical balance or a little bit of randomness too uh and then this is going to be the kitchen at first i thought it would be cool to have the exposed brick on that wall and in the end i actually end up taking away that exposed brick just because it 
it just didn't fit in with the with the stone. I felt like it wasn't realistic for this house to also have that beautiful brick as well as the stone in it. So we will be covering that up with wallpaper later on for realism. And then those kitchen cupboards are from, oh, I just downloaded some new custom content and those cupboards, where are they from again? Uh, it's, it's someone I discovered recently. I'm gonna go through my history right now whilst filming this. Uh, a new person, actually Grim Cookies, my friend Grim Cookies, who's another streamer, a YouTuber, custom content maker. They're, they're really talented. They actually found this creator and were like, you have to check them out. This stuff is good. So I wanna, I wanna add that to you. Oh, Little Dicker. Little Dicker created those, those kitchen. Uh, those kitchen cupboards, but I've forgotten which pack they actually came from. I think it might have been the Sims 4 chic bathroom stuff pack those ones came in. Uh, one of those, but I'll be reviewing them in an upcoming video in any case. Super nice though. Uh, so yeah, I also have some custom content where the tables are separated from benches. Most of the custom content I have is really existing Maxis like Maxis items, so items that are already in the game that have just been like split up or slightly modified. That's the kind of custom content I'm into because it still looks exactly like the game. It doesn't clash. And I just like things that look legit, you know? I don't, I don't like incorporating new styles very often. <laughs> I like it looking extremely close to Maxis to the point where if it's just ripped apart a bit or reassembled, that's my kind of thing. Uh, and I also liked these leather chairs. Those are unlocked, uh, I think in the business career. I just thought they they totally suited the Sim um, who lives here. I just thought he would totally love, you know, having old leather chairs. Uh, I wanted some color too, rustic colors. I love the lights over the dining table. Those lights uh, are from Tiny Living, but again, they're from the uh, more Tiny Living uh, pack that's custom content. So they've just been split apart, the items, so you can have singular globes and not just the clusters that came in Tiny Living. And then this room is going to be the girls' room. We're going to be using Sims Kia beds. Uh, I'll probably put in the description of this video in the title that there is a lot of custom content in this. Recently, I have been experimenting with custom content in builds. Uh, when I do that, I usually stick to like three custom content packs, so it's really easy to download them if you do want to download the build. For this build, because it's going to be in my gameplay specifically and it's being made for my Let's Play, uh, I'm just going to town with custom content. So I apologize that's not easy to download, but hopefully if there's a couple of pieces you like, you can find them. And then if you are missing them, it's not too much of a big deal. You'll just kind of replace them with whatever, whatever you're feeling for. Uh, but I do find those benches are really handy that are broken up. I think, you know, maybe it was Harry who actually did those. Uh, Sims for, what are they called? Like benches, benches, tables, picnic tables, picnic tables, CC. Try and find where I got those two. Uh, oh, separated picnic table and benches. Yeah, that's by Harry. So I'll link that in the description down below. Super handy though to have, because it gives that beautiful rustic vibe, which I love. And I'm mentioning rustic a lot today. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, with the girls' teen bedroom, I wanted it to be a little bit matchy-matchy, a little bit cute in that way, like having the girls have matching colors and matching beds. But at the same time, I wanted it to be very simple to suit both of their styles. And it needed to have a few kind of teen elements by having those little like little postcard boards or whatever that you can clip things onto and the little fairy lights. I thought that made it look a little more teen friendly. Uh, but again, it's very simple. This is going to be the dad's room. So this room is kind of, it does end up having a bit of a 70s feel about it. <laughs> it has uh, blue walls in the end. It isn't very big at all, but I feel like he, Logan, would just be like, ah, I'm, I don't need a whole lot. 
I don't think he even has technically a wardrobe in there. So really that room probably should have been extended. And if I had more budget, that's what I would have done. But I kept things only to how big they needed to be. Oh, he does have a wardrobe from Tiny Living actually. But I kept it as necessities mostly. Where we did splash out with a bit of cash was actually having so many bathrooms. But I just find that so much easier for gameplay, especially when you're filming a Let's Play. It's really annoying if you have to deal with like, okay, that toilet's broken, I have to fix it for them to go to the bathroom. Like those kind of things I rather do off camera. But if you only have one bathroom, you kind of, you have to do it on camera and or edit it out. And it just takes up a bit of time that you don't really want to have on or in your video, I suppose. So bathrooms are always handy. Uh, and then this is the toddler room. This is a very plain toddler room. Uh, it is matchy matchy, but the thing is this toddler is gonna age up really quickly. So I'm like, this toddler room will do for now. And we do give a little bit more, I guess the room's made to look a little bit more interesting. Uh, once we put one feature wall in where we're going to have the forest wallpaper, which you'll see in a second, but that's very simple, that room. And also you'll see in the screenshots, but I did decide that the bathrooms were a little bit too close to what I usually do. Like I always do gray and white bathrooms. So I decided to spice those up a little bit by having some jungle adventure tiles, which we'll be putting in soon. And also in the kitchen as well. They're like a terracotta color, which I thought was really nice for this house too. So going into the screenshots, this is the exterior. It's not crazy looking. It's actually quite simple and plain, but I think for a $70,000 build uh, and for our LP, it's definitely going to serve its purpose. And I, I actually really love that dining table. I think the dining table is probably my favorite part and the kitchen's very nice and rustic looking. I love those cupboards with the industrial bench set. Actually, I think that looks really nice. Uh, yeah, nice living area. Again, very simple, very family oriented. And if you are watching the LP, you will notice these Sims or recognize them. And a few of the items around the house have kind of moved in the family with their paintings. There's the terracotta tiles. I think they, they look quite nice. I like the vintage bathtub too. Uh, toddler's rooms all finished, looking nice as well. Uh, this is Mariana's room, very simple, nothing too crazy. I, del I deliberately left that quite blank. Uh, and then this is the teen girl's room. They have a computer to share, main bathroom squished in there. Kitchen, they bought uh, or brought an industrial light from their last house, which I thought was a nice kind of key feature and Ronnie's, Ronnie's shed image there with the car on it. <laughs> uh, so you guys watching the LP might know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I hope you liked this build. It is on the gallery under the username Delicracy. I'll try and link the CC in the description down below. And uh, yeah, make sure to turn on the filter to show builds with custom content when you download it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.